Hakiki Celebrity presented Oz the Great and Powerful, 2013. Watching a huge amount of gold in front of him, Oz becomes crazy. The film begins in year 1905 with the depiction of a city. We see a magician by the name of Oz. He used to work at a circus, and there he performs small tricks. It implies that he wasn't a particularly skilled magician. He regularly befriends a new girl. Only a few people have come to see his show. He tosses a girl into the air while performing his trick. A girl from the audience approaches him while she watches this. She says can you please fix my feet because I'm paralyzed. Oz becomes quiet after hearing this since he is unable to fix her feet. He used to perform ordinary tricks. After realizing that Oz is quiet, everyone rags and begins to criticize him. They leave from there as well. Later, we witness a tall, fit man approaching Oz to beat him. He was pretty furious at him because Oz has attempted to trap his wife. Oz performs a few tricks to protect himself from him. In front of that man, he couldn't last long. To protect him from that man, he goes into an air balloon and sits there. But that man cuts the rope of the air balloon to capture Oz, winds start to blow, which causes the balloon to fly rapidly. In a while, a strong storm approaches that area. Oz starts to scream as he notices a dangerous storm coming his way. He gradually gets caught in the storm, and Oz was quite afraid. He prays to God to save him from this at all costs from this terrible storm. After a while, everything becomes normal. In fact, the storm goes away and the sky becomes clear. After a while, we see this wasn't the place where the storm took place. Oz has reached a unique and beautiful world. He had never heard of or seen this place until today. When he sees this beautiful world, he becomes shocked. He fell into a stream shortly after entering this world. A girl named Theodora arrives there in the meantime. She was a witch that was a good witch. Oz asks Theodora, the witch, which beautiful place is this? I have never heard of or seen this place. She informs him that this place is known as the land of beauty. Later, Oz gives her a beautiful flower by performing a trick. When she observes this, she also feels shocked and joyful. She regards Oz as a true magician. She informs Oz that there is a witch's black shadow in this place. She is a magician, and our king once predicted that a human will fly to us and he will be a magician. That person will protect us against that witch. And his name will be Oz, and he lies that I'm the magician, Oz. Meanwhile, some horrible noises start to be heard. These were the sounds of dangerous animals that the witch had sent. To protect themselves from them, they take refuge in a cave. After performing tricks, Oz impressed Theodora. She begins to like him and they were preparing to go to another city. On the way, they see a flying monkey that was in trouble at that time. Because he was tangled in the tree bark at the moment, Theodora asks Oz to assist him. A lion arrives in the meantime but Oz sends him away with his tricks. As he observes, the monkey becomes happy. He promised Oz that I will undoubtedly help you at any point in your life. The monkey also joins them, and eventually, they arrive at the palace. Theodora resides there with her sister. When Oz wasn't present, Theodora tells her sister that Oz is the magician who will kill the dangerous witch and will protect us. Hearing this, Theodora's sister becomes angry. I don't think that he is a magician. I think he is a greedy man. He has come here in greed of gold and throne. Theodora's sister intentionally shows him the palace's treasure at night, where a large amount of gold was. Watching a large amount of gold in front of him, Oz gets mad. Theodora's sister informs him that he will receive all of the gold and throne when he travels to the Black Forest, where the dangerous witch resides. You'll kill the magician and to do this, you must break her magical stick. Oz agrees since he considers everything to be simple. He takes the monkey to the forest the following day, the area where the witch resides. They later notice flying smoke coming from a place. They reach a place and after reaching there they see this place has been destroyed. They hear sobbing there and they go inside to check that who is crying and after checking they see a doll there. She tells them that a dangerous witch sent her soldiers to that area. They also destroyed this whole area. He then notices that the doll's foot is likewise broken. He uses the glue to fix it, and he observes that it now functions properly, as the doll was alone and she doesn't have anyone. She thus joins them as they move closer to the jungle, the dark forest. They eventually arrive in a dark forest. This was a horrible jungle because darkness surrounded its four sides. Later, they sense a movement there. It appears as though someone has been keeping an eye on them and pursuing them. We notice some strange animals, and when they turn around, the animals just disappear. Trees rather than animals were keeping eyes on them. These were quite dangerous and the dangerous trees attack them. They manage to get away safely from there with great difficulty, and after continuing on, they see a villa that was quite old. Later, a shadow appeared, 
that was the shadow of no one else but the dangerous witch. She goes to open the gate, and that's why she leaves her magical stick behind. Because Oz needs this stick, so he makes a plan. He requests the monkey to divert the witch. That's why he begins to utter weird sounds, and the witch pays her attention to him. Taking an advantage of this, Oz steals her magical stick. Finally, he takes that stick that he needs. The witch approached him. The three of them start to feel terrified after watching her. The witch here reveals her face, and we see that she isn't either awful or not dangerous. Instead, she was a beautiful witch who introduced herself as Glinda. When Oz notices his beauty, he gets shocked and Glinda tells Oz the whole truth, that I'm a good witch rather than a dangerous witch. Theodora's sister is the most dangerous and magician witch. She has the throne, and she fools everyone with this lie. Glinda tells Oz that Theodora Dora's sister has actually poised her own father. She later accused me of being an evil witch who also killed her father. Later, I learned that she'd done this all to get the king's throne, she'd killed her own father. The real wicked witch, Theodora's sister, is seen on the opposite side. She was watching this all from a crystal and became ragged. Meanwhile, her sister Theodora arrives there. She becomes happy to see Oz with Glinda that he'll kill her now. Here, her sister doesn't tell her the truth, and she lies to her sister Theodora. She makes up the story that Oz is a bad man who tries to flirt with every girl. He had previously tried to trap me, and now he is doing the same with the witch, Glinda. When Theodora hears this, she becomes ragged, being upset she starts crying. Sister of Theodora sends her creatures to destroy Glinda and Oz. All the creatures reach there where Oz and Glinda were. Glinda believes that Oz is the true magician, so she asks him as he is a magician, that's why please send the army of dangerous creatures away from here. The Oz's tricks were not potent enough to send this army. That's why he asks his friends to flee. The army of the creatures surrounds them, so they can't escape further. Glinda disperses smoke everywhere. With her magic as they can't hear any sound for long, they consider that the creatures have gone. The army creature eventually descended from the air and attacked them. They again flee from them. While running, Glinda instructs them to jump off the mountain. Glinda once more uses her magic, she saves them all with a bubble. She begins to lead them toward her kingdom. This kingdom was protected from the dangerous witch, due to magic in this kingdom. Only those with pure hearts can enter. The people who are good and honest. When Oz hears this, he is terrified because he knows, that neither he is good nor has a pure heart. Later, we see that he also enters the kingdom, the magic. He was aware of himself, so when he entered, he got shocked. They were welcomed by a large number of people in Glinda's kingdom. Everyone respected Oz because they were considering him a magician. Later, Oz tells Glinda that I'm not that magician that you're considering me. She claims that I am aware of your coward and selfishness. They are the people who have been waiting for the magician for many years. They're happy and I, therefore, don't want to ruin the hope that they had for many years. Because of this, she asks Oz to lie that he is a magician. Theodora was on the other side, seeing everything. Theodora gets angry when she sees them happy together. As her sister observes Theodora's state, she decides to turn her into an evil witch like her. She gives the girl a green apple to eat. She turns into a frightening green witch after eating it. She has to take revenge on Ounce. On the other side, Glinda makes a plan with Oz. That he has to motivate them that they can fight that evil witch. The magic that was protecting them gradually begins to break. A fireball then strikes that area and Theodora emerges from it. In her new and dangerous appearance, Theodora goes right away to kill Oz. Glinda goes to stop her, to protect Oz from her. Theodora warns them that soon, my sister and I, along with our army, will arrive to have an attack on you all. As we're evil, so we'll kill you all who are good. And my first and foremost target is Oz. Theodora leaves after frightening threatening them all. All of the naive people start to flee from there. Oz also gets ready to leave them because the evil sister's first goal was him. He is stopped by Glinda. Meanwhile, he thinks of the inventor of light. Later, he starts formulating a plan on how to defeat the wicked sisters. Oz, with his plan, approaches all the good people. He requests that they all get ready a device that can display image with motions. A kind of projector. On the other side, the sisters have organized an army to assault. On the other hand, everything that Oz had planned was prepared. Oz asks the head of good people to create an air balloon. He requests that you won't tell this anyone because it is a secret thing. Oz goes to another city with some people. Glinda was engaged in combat with the army of sisters behind. She spreads the smoke around her kingdom once more. People from Glinda are preparing to attack amid the smoke. The army of which sisters was also prepared to attack. It was the army of creatures. It reveals that there were puppets in that smoke not humans. In a while, the smoke was demolished. Later, we see there are some flowers that have poison inside. Because of this poison, the creatures begin to faint. Glinda's people become delighted, but two creatures soon appear and take Glinda away. Theodora's sister first uses her magic and throws her magical stick. When the doll notices the magical stick, 
she takes it right away. Theodora's sister later brings Glinda to her town. Later, she was about to murder Glinda in front of everyone. Later, when Oz starts to leave after seeing this situation, Theodora notices him while running. Later, she shows to the town residents that their savior is a real coward and selfish, he is fleeing to leave you all in trouble. Later, Theodora uses fire to strike the air balloon. The air balloon collapses while burning. The evil sisters consider that everything has been destroyed and they win. Later, a huge explosion occurs, and everyone believes Oz has dead. Meanwhile, Oz secretly comes there. Whatever occurred was actually the plan of Oz. So, the witches think that they've won and they actually consider this. Later, Oz performs his last trick and turns off the lights one by one. With the help of the device that they've created, the image of Oz becomes visible. This was a terrible picture of Oz. The image of Oz terribly yells at the sisters and they become scared to see this. Their guards attack the image with their rods. It remains unharmed, as we know it was just a picture. Later, the doll approaches Glinda and gives her the magical stick. Once she has the magical stick, Glinda sets her free. Later, Oz seeks forgiveness from Theodora. He tells her that you can live with us after becoming a good witch. Theodora doesn't agree and, while laughing and making fun of him she leaves from there. Seeing this, Oz becomes ragged and he attacks her, as a result, Theodora dies there. On the other side, Glinda and Theodora's sister have a fight. During the fight, Glinda holds Theodora's sister's locket. She ruins it, which causes Theodora's sister to start growing old. Later, Glinda kills her, and in the end, everything happens the same. According to prediction, Oz saved their life. The movie ends with this. Thank you.